Hello friends, welcome to yet another fascinating video of Wisdom Zone. This is Shubro and friends, I'm quite sure you have already guessed it from the thumbnail that today I have the fourth part of spoken English learning video and today I'm going to help you to learn about the simple present and present continuous tense. So it is my earnest request to all of you, please watch this video carefully to learn all about the simple present and present continuous tense. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to Wisdom Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So friends welcome back once again to this fascinating session on spoken English learning video and in today's video I am going to discuss the correct use of the simple present and the present continuous tense. So before I go ahead let me quickly remind all of you that you will find the previous parts on spoken English learning video in the description. So if you haven't checked the previous parts please do not forget to check the links given in the description. So without further ado, let's get started with today's video. So friends, as I have promised in today's video, I am going to focus on the simple present and the present continuous tense. And I am going to give you several examples to make you understand in a crystal clear manner how and where you can use the simple present tense and the present continuous tense. So as you see, at first I am going to discuss the simple present tense. We can also say present simple or present indefinite. So the simple present tense can be also said present simple or present indefinite. It is the base form of the verb. So as you have understood, it's the base form of the verb. Let me show you the first example. I go to the market every day. So here I'm using the base form of the verb that is go without changing it. So in case of first person, we use go and you see the second example. He goes to the market every day. So just remember, in case of third person singular number, he, she or it, we have to add S. So it is mandatory to add an S with third person singular number, that is he, she and it. So the sentence is, he goes to the market every day, but I go to the market every day. So let me show you where else we can use the simple present tense. We use the simple present tense to talk about general facts that are always true. As you see, the next example is on your screen. I work at McDonald's. So here I'm talking about a fact that I work at McDonald's. I'm using the simple present tense. Similarly, you see the next example. So when it comes to third person singular number, you have to use S. As you see, Tom works at Starbucks. So here I'm talking about third person singular that is Tom. And that's why I have to add S. I work at McDonald's. Tom works at Starbucks. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Up next, we will see some more situations. We also use the simple present tense to talk about regular habits. As you see the next example, I always wake up at 6 o'clock. We can use the always, often, sometimes. These are called adverbs of frequency. So see the next example. She wakes up at 6 o'clock. So as I have already mentioned, in case of third person singular number, we have to add an S. I always wake up. She wakes up at 6 o'clock so I'm quite sure it's clear up next I'm gonna show you some other situations as you see the next situation is in case of general truths and facts we also use the simple present tense as you see the Sun rises in the east and sets in the west so we all know this it's a general truth that's why I have to use the simple present tense so in case of negatives we use the simple present tense so let me show you some sentences how to make negative sentences in the simple present tense as you see I don't wake up early in the morning so in case of first person to make negative we have to use don't I don't wake up early in the morning similarly you see the next example is also a negative sentence using the simple present tense but here third person singular number is used that is she doesn't wake up early in the morning so I don't wake up and in case of third person we have to use doesn't that she doesn't wake up early in the morning we can also use the simple present tense to make interrogative sentences to ask questions let me show you some examples do you play the guitar so I'm asking a question using do and I'm using the simple present tense the form is present next question is on your screen where do you work again we are using simple present tense and the third is does he play football because third person 
singular number to frame a question I need does. So I'm quite sure it's clear how to ask questions in the simple present tense. So friends up next we are going to dive into the second category where I'm going to discuss the use of present continuous tense which is very important. Present continuous is also called present progressive as you see on your screen. So we use the present continuous tense to talk about first the action at the moment of speaking. So let me show you I am reading a book. When you are talking about something which you are doing exactly now, that time you can use the present continuous tense that I am reading a book. That means exactly now I am reading a book. We can also use it to talk about an action that is going on around now. Maybe not exactly now, but around now. So let me show you the example. Sam is learning English these days. That means around now, these days is happening, maybe not exactly now. So in this kind of situation also we can use the present continuous. So as you see Sam is learning English these days. That means these days he is learning, not exactly now. Second situation where we have to use the present continuous tense is to talk about action in the future. We can also use the present continuous tense to talk about the future. As you see the example. The first example is on your screen. The present continuous tense to point out towards the future. We are going to attain a birthday party next week. So I'm quite sure it's clear. Going to attain. So it is continuous but I'm talking about birthday next week. It's talking about future. Similarly, see the next example. We are eating at Sam's restaurant tonight. So not now but tonight I'm talking about the future. But I'm using the continuous tense. We are eating. So I'm quite sure it's clear. We also make negative sentences as you see the next one to talk about future. They are not working. We can make negative sentence also in the present continuous tense to talk about future that they are not working. They are not coming. Like this way you can also use the present continuous tense. So friends today I discuss a very important topic. I explained about the simple present tense and the present continuous tense and where to use the present continuous tense and where to use the simple present tense. I have given you several examples to make you understand. I am quite sure all these examples are going to help you to clear your doubts. So please go through the examples and try to make sentences and comment below. And if you still haven't subscribed to this channel, please do not wait. Immediately go ahead and subscribe to System Zone and hit the bell icon to get the first notification. So stay tuned for further informative videos and please do not forget to like, share, comment and subscribe to Stumzone.